Earlier this year, I set a goal to answer a question that has been plaguing generations. Why do people like Fortnite so much? Here are my findings. My name is Katie Mark. I'm 24 years old, and I am obsessed with Fortnite. So Fortnite is a battle royale game by Epic Games that burst onto the scene in 2017. And I don't know about you guys, but it felt like it was instantly popular. Like, I didn't know anything about it, but all of a sudden, it was, like, the most popular thing ever. Uh, my brother was an OG player. He was playing Season 1. Shout out to my boy Void Zero. And I get it. I kind of get it now. Uh, so if you've ever played like a Battle Royale style type game like Battlefield or Halo, it's pretty similar in, in style, but it, it combines like this really fun animation style and a lot of different customizations uh, that these games don't have. So number one reason I think people like Fortnite so much is visually it's just really stimulating. Uh, sometimes I find when I'm playing like other battlefields or like first person shooter games, it's kind of like dark and like the Call of Duty, it's like grungy, it's gritty, you're killing people. Uh, and it's just visually dark in the game. So I get EPs. Sorry. This game is so visually stimulating. It's so bright. The color schemes are like all vivid, all neons, going crazy. Uh, and just really like larger than life cartoons all the time. Uh, it's hard to be looking at the screen and not be, like, engaged because there's so much happening. Uh, and being a part of the brain rot generation, I need that kind of overstimulation to stay engaged with something. So I think there's definitely something going on there. I read this awesome quote. He's a number two to get into it, by the way. Uh, the, what is it? The Child Mind Institute has this article about parents that are, like, complaining about their kids being, like, addicted to Fortnite like they literally think they have a Fortnite addiction and I've seen gaming addictions I've seen gaming addictions uh it's nasty it's nasty and I think it can happen and I definitely understand why it would happen to Fortnite uh but the Child Mind Institute seems to think that happens because there's a lot of instant gratification uh this game has a lot of different like aspects to get good at uh, they're talking about how in this article they talk about how in gaming uh, a great way to keep people coming back is to have like facets of the game for people to hone their skills in right so in this game you have looting you have like uh, combat and shooting accuracy you have like maps and like actual strategy when it comes to that kind of thing uh, so there's so much that you can like get good at like you don't have to be the best shooter to be good at Fortnite. like you can get by with just being smart about it which is really cool uh and there's a lot of different aspects that you can hone your skills in they they're constantly switching out maps they're constantly switching out weapons uh so there's always new stuff to learn it's not just a game that's like you're playing go fish for the hundredth time and it's the same 52 cards forever it's not like that this is an ever-changing game. There's a lot to get good at. And this game does have a lot of instant gratification. There's a really cute quote that I read about this kid. And he's like, I just like looking at the chest and seeing what's in the chest. And I'm like, no, bro, because that's exactly why I'm playing. That's exactly why I'm playing. Every time I open a chest, I'm like, oh, what is in here? And I, like, get so excited. I'm like, it's an epic. It's an epic. Uh, it's just fun. It's really, it's instantly rewarding and it's easy. This is a really quick loading game too. So if something goes wrong or you die, this just game has such a large player base. I think even on the slowest days, like when I play like no build or whatever, there's like 200,000 people on, on the slow days. Uh, not to mention most Fortnite aspects have this crazy building crazy building shit to get into uh but i'm lame and i don't play that uh because you can't teach an old dog new tricks and by that i mean you can't teach a dog in their <laughs> mid-20s who is exhausted and doesn't have time to get good at things how to play fortnite battle royale other fun things about this game uh item customization there's so much to customize in this game. And I think I'm used to seeing, like, Dead by Daylight, which is, like, one of my main games. Uh, you can pay, obviously, to get skins. You can get characters. But this game has crazy options. You can pay to, up, like, to customize and upgrade your in-battle 
You're in battle. You're in lobby battle music. You can pay for emotes, little dances. You can use to flex on people. You can customize your outfits, your full body skins. You can customize weapon wraps, car wraps for vehicles you get in the game. Like, it's nuts. And about approximately, right? And I'm, I'm not being exact here, but it's about $20 for 2,000 V-Bucks. And every skin is at least 2,000 V-Bucks. Or you can win them by playing uh, by playing through like quests and like m achieving daily tasks in the game. But pretty much every time you see a player wearing a skin, that's $20. And I feel like I am the only person who's loading in without a custom skin. It makes me feel like such a doofus, McGoofus, butt face head. Uh, I've never felt so peer pressured into spending $20 on fake money for a fake outfit. Even though I don't buy real outfits, that's why I'm wearing this shirt, this original <laughs> Phantom Menace t-shirt that came out when the movie came out because I don't buy new clothes. I don't do it, but I would for Fortnite. I'm feeling like it, uh, especially because it's, it's just like in real life. It's a shine of status and you're investing in the game. That means you must be kind of good at it, right? Which is weird, but okay, right? Uh, I was thinking uh, about some people I talked to about this game and also reading a couple articles. And another thing I talked about was with this generation, uh, especially like in this post-pandemic world and having only emerged a few years before that, that this is a super easy way to interact. This is a really accessible game. Uh, like I said earlier, you don't have to really be good at this game to enjoy it. And you don't even have to be super good at this game to play it decently. This is a super easy game to play with friends. And when you're thinking about like young kids or kids that are just getting into gaming, this is a super gateway drug. Super gateway drug. And it's way easier to say, hey guys, do you want to hop on Fortnite tonight? As opposed to saying, hey, are you free on Tuesday? Can you ask your mom and I'll ask my mom and then we'll see if we can have a play date at this time. And also we'll see if we can get money so we can go do this thing. Like, there's so many steps to that, but it's really easy to just like hop on the computer and play with friends. And it also, um, the same article I was reading earlier was talking about how online gaming takes away the pressure for uh, in-person eye contact between people. So it's a super fun, easy way to start making friends. Kind of cool, right? Like, I never thought about that like that. I mean, when I was playing games growing up, I would hop on with, you know, some with some of my friends on Webkins. Sometimes, I, shout out to my OG Natalie, we would have like, well, you always have your kin's phone and stuff, but then you'd have to have the right color on so you'd be in the right mode and then you could see if they're online so then you could play games. Um, and that was really difficult. <laughs> it's just not, we, we've got the whole internet thing kind of figured out at this point. And it makes it super accessible. This game also has a lot of crazy partnerships. Uh, In-game concerts by Marshmallow, Billy Eyelash, like concerts in the game that's kind of crazy marvel they've had a lot of collaborations with marvel i mean in 31 seasons they in like the first one they had a marvel collaboration i'm pretty sure i said marvel a marvel collaboration uh they had a whole end game collaboration they've done stuff with star wars with lego with nerf like that's crazy you're so there's so much in this game uh and i feel like that also has a lot of appeal of like okay well I know I don't know a lot about Fortnite. Well, hey, Marvel, Marvel characters are in it. Okay, great. Making it more accessible to other people. Not to mention, guys, this is a free game. It's a free to play game. I don't think it takes anything like crazy specs on your PC to play. But most of all, it's really fun. I just think it's super fun. It's not something that I feel stressed about. I don't think I'm having to think so much when I play this game. Because you're not, like, you can think as much as you want, right? But I can kind of turn my brain off when I'm playing this game. And I fucking love it. I love Fortnite. I get it. $19 Fortnite card. Who wants it? Oh, no more Fortnite. I want one in the real now. Yeah, Fortnite, we're about to get that tip. And girls on the board right now. Let's wait that to middle down. Anyway. <laughs> 
hope I'm making my students physically cringe when they are old enough to watch these videos. So, trying to do my job, make Kim's proud. Anyways, guys, yeah, if you like what we're doing, please. This has been Real Slim Katie 25, signing off. <laughs>